Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I am your host, Captain Boring. This is your 10-minute sports report for the 4th of October, 2023. I am, as always, Captain Boring. As I already said, got a little NFL. I got some <clears throat> college football storylines, mostly NCAA. Boo. And, of course, then I got baseball playoffs. So it's going to be a little short one today, but short is still good, okay? No matter what she says, gentlemen. Let's get into it. So on Monday night concluded with the Seattle Seahawks just drubbing the New York Giants 24-3. Daniel Jones was sacked a career high and it tied the franchise record for the Seattle Seahawks 11 times. Daniel Jones finished with 203 yards passing and two interceptions. It was kind of a really muddy game. Devon Witherspoon, the rookie out of Illinois, uh, had an electric 97-yard pick six that uh, uh, that kind of put the game away, and that only was in the second quarter. So that was easy, pish posh, get in, get out, and you're done. Seahawks, Giants are really bad right now because they can't protect Daniel Jones, hence the 11 sacks. Coming up on Thursday the Chicago Bears, the 0-4 Chicago Bears, are taking on the 2-2 Washington Commanders, who hopefully will change their name soon because their name sucks. I don't like it. Okay, comment down below real quick. Which one is worse of all the name changes? Which one is worse? The Washington Commanders or the Cleveland Guardians? I know, I know. I ask good questions. Comment down below. Which one is worse, Commanders or Guardians? Okay, get back to me there. Hello, NCAA action for you. So they used the NCAA, for whatever reason, used to say that you could only bring in so many new players, right? Um, so say you're only allowed to have 85 scholarships, get that. But say Alabama had 50 scholarships taken, they could bring in and, and they needed to get to 85. They could only bring in 25, leaving them with 70 leaving them with 10 scholarships that they didn't use. And that, because of the transfer portal, a lot of schools were are finding out that that's an issue for them, where they can fill all the 25 spots and still be short on scholarships that they're allowed to give out. So they are dropping that in football completely. Um, you're As long as you stay under the limit of 85 you can bring in 85 brand new people if you if you wanted to. Um, so, so for once, they kind of came out, again, day late, dollar short, because this has been going on for so, quite some time. But hey, maybe now at least it's fixed. They also recently shrunk the window for all athletes who enter the transfer portal. So what this did is the rule change will impact all sports and gives players 45 days total throughout the year to enter their name into the transfer portal. Each sport will have 45 total days, but it will be divided differently by sport. For example, before this rule change, the window for football would open the day after the college football playoff teams were announced, which is December 4th, 2022, and would stay open for 45 days. The next period would open from April 15th to April 30th, which will remain the same with new with the new changes. Under the new rule, there will be a 30-day window after the season and, a, and 15 days in the spring. So it will open... It will stay open from April 15th to April 30th during spring ball. And then the 30-day window in FBS and FCF football, the new 30-day window will begin the Monday after the FBS conference championships game. So normally that first Saturday in December. Any student athletes complete, competing in the college football playoff will also be given an additional five-day transfer window in January while the second window will occur in the second half of April. So again... Day late, dollar short, but at least we made it a rule that they could do, I guess. 
Uh, NCAA eyes athlete protection as betting expand. This must have been the NCAA must be ta- or is about to take a big load of heat for something because they just dropped all of these good changes and good rules in one day. Uh, they also dropped um, protection for uh, the athletes for betting expand uh, as betting expands. Um, they they eye that they don't want like the NFL. You can bet like this player will have 150 yards. They don't want that leaking into college. Uh, so they, they're trying, just not good and fast enough. All right, let's get Ochi over to some baseball, and then I'll get you on your way. So in game one of the three-game wild card series, these were all game ones, the Texas Rangers beat the Tampa Bay Rays 4 to nothing. The Minnesota Twins beat the Toronto Blue Jays 3 to 1. The Arizona Diamondbacks, a little bit of a surprise, as they remember, second wild card seed here, or third wild card seed, beat the Brewers 6 to 3. And the Phillies, first wild card, playing the Marlins, second wild card, beat them 4-1. to one. So, again, it's a three-game series. First two games are at the higher-seeded home team. They win both of those. Series over. They lose, and if it's 1-1, one and one, guess what? It go, they, the, home, the higher seed has to go on the road for that third and final game. So it's very important that you win and get out to the divisional round. As of today, right now, it looks like the Tampa Bay Rays are going home. At the end of the eighth inning, the Texas Rangers lead the Tampa Bay Rays 7-1. That would mean that the Tampa Bay Rays, um, the first AL wild card, will send the second AL wild card home in just two games. Meanwhile, the the Toronto Blue Jays and the Minnesota Twins at the bottom of the third are tied at zero apiece. So, tune back in Friday. I'll get you all caught up from Wednesday's action. If there's any action on Thursday, I will get you caught up from that. And then it doesn't look like the divisional series begins until Saturday. So I will get you all set up for that as well as college football and your NFL weekend. Thank you everyone for tuning into this 10 minute sports report. Do not forget which name is dumber, dumber, Commanders, Guardians, comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Follow us on Instagram at Fourth One Podcast. We are about to. Ju- I'm about to jump off this and go directly into a brand new episode of the Fourth One Podcast. So please be sure to check that out and share that with all of your friends. We are funny, or I think so. I don't know though because well, I'm bad at this. All right. Until next time, wash your hands, you filthy animals. Don't forget, God loves you. May God bless you. Peace out. <laughs>